Hey guys, it's Eric with the Miller Park Minute coming back at you with yet another video. Five things. We're going to throw some strikes and get some likes today. Uh, so we're going to kick this right off. We're talking pitchers and catchers because guess what? Today, pitchers and catchers reported. Uh, so five things about pitchers and catchers. Uh, this is just kind of through my eyes, guys, what I see so far. I mean, there's obviously not a lot to report. We're, we're early in spring training. Um, day one. So with that being said, uh, the top, I'm just going to go right down the list here. Um, new catcher, uh, Omar Navarez ranked second to Grandal, uh, offensively last year. He's got some defensive things to work on. We all know that and we all understand that. Um, number two, we've got some new starters in Anderson, Lindblom, and Lauer. So exciting things to come from them. Uh, Lynn Bloom was an MVP in the Korean Baseball League. Uh, Anderson is kind of that veteran guy. Uh, he was 13 and nine last year with a 3.89 ERA, 126 strike or uh, 126 innings and 90 strikeouts. So good things there. Uh, Eric Lauer is kind of a younger guy, just an a upstart in the majors, so he doesn't have a whole lot of experience. That's fine. Uh, he was 8 and 10, 4.45 ERA, not so good. 149 innings and 138 strikeouts, so he's a high strikeout guy. Uh, and then, of course, we've got our returning pieces to the starting rotation Brandon Woodruff, Hauser, um, any mix of Suter, Peralta, Burns. Um, I'd really, really, I know this is, this is probably far out of left field, but I'd really like to see Brent Suter have an opportunity for the starting rotation. I think he will compete in spring training, uh, for a shot at that job, which is good because the guy is an animal. He goes out and he plays with heart. Uh, he's just a talented player in a return from injury. He was 4-0 and a .49 ERA uh, in 18 and 18 and a third innings with 15 strikeouts. Pretty good, pretty good comeback for, for Brent Suter. And he was an animal before he got hurt. So I looked forward to seeing that winter ball for Freddy Peralta was a good thing. Um, pitched really well, he, he spent a lot of time. And again, I've said this before, but if you watched his story throughout the offseason on Instagram, he was always working out. He's been trying really hard. He wants to get better. I hope this is a season for him. Corbin Burns, of course, struggled last year. Let's hope that that's gone. But those are those are guys that are on the outside looking in of the starting rotation at this point. So uh, on to my next thing is the new three-headed monster. The old three-headed monster. Unfortunately, JJ is gone. We have to move on. Unfortunately, I hate it. But... Corey Knable, back from injury, hopefully relatively towards the beginning of the season, right? Uh, and then we have Claudio returning, who was an inning eater. Effective specialist last year. Let's hope with the new rules that he'll be good this year. Uh, that's all we can do, all we can hope for. And then, of course, Josh Hader returning to form. Uh, a little contract dispute. That's still going on, but... That's fine. That's arbitration that happens. It's a good percentage of major leaguers when they're when they're young. So they never agree on the figures. It's okay. Um, one of the rising stars, we've got some young guys. Um, Bobby Wall, Williams, Yardley. Those are those are some characters that we we don't know where they'll fit in. Plus more of the minor league guys. We've seen a lot of guys get invites to big league camp. So I think there's a lot of, that's number four, is the rising stars. Um, I think there's a lot of good stuff there. I think we'll see a lot on the rise. Maybe Omar Navarez rises his, his defense level up with us, handling our pitching. Um, you know, Lauer's young yet. Suter Peralta Burns, you know, that kind of, those pieces are all very young. So I like, I like how that looks. And then, of course, the Yardleys and the, those things. Um, New edition Phelps, 
he was 2-1 last year, 3.41 ERA, uh, 34 innings, 36 strikeouts. So he's kind of a, a been around the block piece. I'd, I'd like to see what he does for us. And then last but not least, the top thing, Josh Hader. Josh Hader is Josh Hader. We don't need to say much about Josh Hader. You can put him in in the seventh. You can put him in in the eighth. You can put him in in the ninth. He fits anywhere. He can do two innings. They do play a lot of rest with Hader, but I get it. Um, hopefully we'll see less of that this year. Our boy... Council likes to give Hater his rest. So, yeah, that's those are five things about the pitching and catching on the start. Pitchers and catchers have now reported. The pictures were all over. Uh, and the depth chart, I read through the depth chart. We don't know where that's all going to fall. This is day one, so I'm going to take that at face value. I think everybody should take that as face value. We don't know if there'll be an unknown. Maybe Shelby Miller will get into this puzzle somewhere in this rotation, whatever. He got a, a big league invite, so let's see. But so our five things are, number one, new catcher, second to Grandal offensively. I like that. New starters in the rotation. I like that. Lauer, Anderson, Lindblom. The new three-headed monster, Claudio, Knable, and Haterade. Need I say more? And then, of course, rising stars, young talent. We're going to get there with young talent. This is what we've got to do. That's the trend. That's where baseball is going. We'll bring it home. And last but not least, Josh Hader. He's an all-star. He is one of the best relievers in the game. I think ranked number two by the Shredder. Whatever, I don't care about those rankings. Best reliever in the game, Josh Hader. So that's it, guys. That's all I got for the five things. If you like this video, smash the like button down below. And if you aren't already, subscribe. Subscribe to the channel. Share this video with your friends. And we'll catch you in the next video. Thanks for watching and have a great day. Go Brewers. Thank you for watching the Miller Park Minute. Go Brewers.